so we're going to start a new job today. This will be uh, a Hummel figurine that I've done many Hummels, but I don't have a video of it, so uh, this is typical breakage for this kind of thing. Um, not too badly broken, but bad enough it needs a good restoration. So uh, I think I have all the pieces. Won't know until I actually get it together. If there's anything missing, it's going to be relatively small. Like uh, chips and things like this on the inside of this. Uh, we don't have any chips. So that's the job. So start gluing this basket together. basket with a couple of holes, holes in it that need to be filled <clears throat> and uh, if I work on the filling these holes before I put the basket on the figurine it's going to be easier to work on to get my tools down inside here while I still have access to this so I'll do that. I'll fill these empty spots here where the chips are missing before I glue this on. And that'll be easier to work on. And then that'll just go on in one piece and then we just need to put the uh, handle on the basket. So that's how we're going to handle that. So the next step will be to fill this. All right, got my millipet mixed up. I'm going to fill these voids. So now I'm going to uh, fill, file down the uh, fills I did yesterday, and I'll probably do another fill today. So I'll just file this off.
so we've done uh, two rounds of fills on this basket because it's easier to work with uh, before I glue it back on. And so I just wanted to give you an idea of what that looks like. Um, so you can actually see the crack, the hairline crack. And, uh, and the reason I'm showing you this is so that you understand that if I don't fill this, it's going to show in the finish. It's a it's a minor thing, but uh, you know that's what separates the professional job from the uh, homeowner do-it-yourself job. So that's what we get. This is two rounds of fill. We're filled in all these empty uh, missing pieces, and the same thing on the inside. And uh, I have another void here but it's right where this glues on and I'd rather fill it uh, once I put this together because I might make a bulge here where it won't fit so this will now lock into place can you see inside there mm -hmm. this will now lock in place in here nice and securely with good alignment and again, I'll still have to fill along these crack lines. This is pretty obvious that's going to need fill. So we'll do that while I can still get in here. Uh, and I want to do that before I put the handle on here because that'll be in my way of the tools. So that's what I'm going to do today is uh, glue this basket in place. set that aside and come back later when it's cured and do the fills so it's the next day and we're uh, gonna glue the handles on this handle on this basket today but um, yesterday we did a fill after we glued the basket on we did a fill of this line here and a, and a hole so that's been filled and filed down and ready to get decorated. So today we're going to put the handle on this basket and uh, then we're after that we're ready to decorate this and do the painting. So we've got two pieces and they need to go in at the same time. So that's what we're going to do here. need to set this somewhere undisturbed overnight and then, uh, and then we can do a little tiny bit of fill on the seams I just glued and then we're ready to move on to decoration
Okay, so we're ready to start putting paint on this Hummel. And what we will do is start with the background and work our way forward. So in this case, it's this buff color like we have on the inside. So we'll paint on the inside and everywhere I have these crack line fills. And uh, that's how we do it. We'll work out. I'll airbrush that on and then we'll come back and start tomorrow, paint over that, and work our way out to the foreground. So I've got the masking on there and we're ready to go. I just wanted to point something out here that th this happens often where um, it's difficult to see some of the fine lines on, on this um, through the cold glaze because it's clear and it's shiny. But once I put the paint over that, I can see things like this line right here that that, that, that was almost impossible to see. Uh, with just a cold glaze but now that I put paint on it it makes it show up so there's a line there and there's one here so there's a finer fills that need to be done and we need to address that which I will uh, so we'll I'll fill that and we'll come back and paint it again and um, and, and then what <laughs> we will see then hopefully that it is filled and smooth but um, I just wanted to point that out because this, this is a common occurrence and, um, you know, we just need to deal with it, okay? So I'm going to fill that, those little lines, those little imperfections. Okay, so we're ready to start putting some color on this uh, basket today. Okay, so we're getting into the detail work on the Hummel now, and I'm, uh, you know, getting into decorating the finer details. And to do that, I need to get in really close. 
and to get a good fine line I need to take the guard off the front of my airbrush. That will let me get a tiny bit closer uh, and get a finer spray. Okay, the uh, Hummel is now finally finished. I put a, a matte coating on this cold glaze that I did yesterday. And uh, so the basket's all repaired.